Now, before the coronavirus pandemic came along and disrupted all of our lives, the Indian automotive industry was well on its way from transitioning from BS4 to BS6 fuels. Now, that deadline was supposed to be met in April, but there were a lot of manufacturers that actually came forward and launched products in BS6 variants. TVS is one of them, and they launched the Jupiter back in November last year in a BS6 uh, variant. Now, of course, a lot of people out there are wondering what is the main difference in the BS6 variants. Well, we've got the new Jupiter with us now, and we're here to find out exactly what those main differences are. So this is the TVS Jupiter Classic. It's one of the best 110cc scooter models out there in the market today. And this one is BSA compliant now. And also for the first time, a 110cc scooter gets fuel injection. So from the design you see, it's pretty much exactly the same. But I have to say this is a very good looking scooter and I absolutely love this paint job on it. Now, besides uh, the new BS6 engine, there are a lot of new features on this scooter that are actually very impressive for a practical everyday workhorse. So the first improvement is that it now gets more storage space under the seat. As you can see, simply it's open it as any other scooter and it's got a lot of space. So the new BS6 model also gets a larger fuel tank. It's got six liters of storage now. And of course, because it's fuel injected and a BS6 model, it also has 15% more fuel efficiency, which makes it better on your pocket. Now, everyday problems call for everyday solutions, and thankfully, the new TVS Jupiter has a nice USB charging port for your mobile phone that you can charge on the go and simply place here in this nice compartment. And if you're gonna be commuting a lot on your scooter, you want it to be very comfortable, and the TVS Jupiter is that. It's got a very nice seat that's very wide, and of course, you have a lot of leg room, which is, makes it very comfortable for guys of my size especially. The new BS6 engine is the same 109.7cc single cylinder engine, but its power has dropped by 0.5 brake horsepower to 7.3 brake horsepower. However, its torque output remains the same at 8.4 Nm. The Jupiter has always been a refined scooter with great ride quality, and the new BS6 model continues to offer the same riding experience. The acceleration is jerk-free and the engine feels very well refined. The front brake has now become a drum. The BS4 model had a disc for the front brake, and as a result, it feels spongy now. So, in that regard, the Jupiter has regressed a bit while trying to move ahead. The overall performance is still admirable and the ride quality is extremely comfortable. So, what's better in this scooter now? Well, not too much, but you do have better practicality, more fuel efficiency, and of course, it's now BS6 compliant, which goes in line with TVS's motto of Ziada Kafeta. However, the TVS Jupiter Classic is now 7,000 rupees more expensive and it comes to 68,000 X showroom. Now, of course, that's a pretty big price bump, but you do get the added stuff. I would like to also mention that this scooter is a fantastic everyday workhorse and does a great job. The TVS Jupiter has also been one of the fastest selling scooters to reach the 1 million mark. It did so in 30 months when it was first launched. Until now, it's sold over 3 million units total. So it is a very popular scooter and it does deserve to be called one of the best in the 110cc segment. So is the BS6 compliant engine actually better than the older one? Well, not so much, but it does have its added benefits for sure. And in fact, all models now that will become BS6 compliant will have the added benefit of being more fuel efficient for sure, and maybe also offer a better ride quality. But all in all, there isn't that much of a big difference except for the features that might be added in the new models to come. So I hope that answers all your questions regarding the BS6 models. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to follow us on www.autox.com for all the latest automotive information.